guys, my name is Lisa Grace and this is Nailcomer's YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy this video. Right, we have our nail all ready to go. I've popped the Skin Aura Gel. It is my favourite one. I love this one. And I'm coming in with the Crow Gel Polish. This is from the Prophecy range. Very important to do nice thin coats with this because it's so pigmented. It does need thin coats. It's very tempting just to slap it all on and try and get it all done in one coat. And sometimes, depending on what you're doing with the nail, depending on what base you've got down as well, sometimes you can get away with a one coat. Um, but make sure it's a real nice thin layer. And also make sure that your client's hands get right into the lamp so that it cures properly. Right, bang that in the lamp for me, please, Sam. Um, so we're using pigments today. I've got these two pigment stack stackers from Nilgami. Which ones are we going to use? So they are neons, but I'm going to be using... This neon red, which is probably a little bit more like a coral. If I can do it without spilling it everywhere. It's not even been opened yet. No, I'm not. Oh my god, I'm not even use this one. This well, is like look at the, the colour. Ridiculously That's, freaking That is bright. almost the same colour as my hair. So we're going to go for that, and then I'm going to use the orange and the yellow as well. Um, so second coat of crow. Oh my god, I'm going to get so messy with these pigments. It's like chrome, it just gets everywhere. Okay, when you're happy, pop that in. Uh, so I like to use just an old eyeshadow brush for um for my pigments. So you can see it stains it as well, and there's all sorts of glitter in it as well. Give it a scrub because um, these pigments will just stick. So don't use your best brush for this. Uh, where's my top coat? Here it is. So when that comes out of the lamp, we're going to give the nail a full top coat. Make sure you cover all all of that black if there's any of that inhibition layer poking through these pigments will stick okay give that a cure so it's also important as well when when this nail comes out of the lamp yes it is a no wipe top coat however it has like a static layer to it so we're going to give it a good wipe with the nail plate cleanser to get rid of that static layer because the pigments i mean they'll stick to anything these pigments just cling um so just by wiping over the um the top coat with this it's just going to reduce any sticky static whatnot so give that a good good wipe over right we are going to be using Got my palette. I say palette. It's the um, where have I put my white artisan paint? I've had it because I've used it. Hold that thought, guys. I found it. Right, so I'm using the white artisan paint, and I've got the eight millimeter fine liner brush, and we're just going to create our flame shape. So there's no there's no set way of doing this. So long as it resembles a flame, you can't really go wrong. So I usually like to start off doing like a U shape. And again, at any point, if you mess up, wipe it off, start again. And I'll take my U and then I'm just going to take that off in any direction that it wants to go in. Ooh, mess up. Kind of 
bring that up to a point. You'd think I'd need to put my glasses on. I actually have my glasses on. Just uh, hand-eye coordination aren't my strong point at the minute. <laughs> right, so from this side, I'm going to take it <coughs> in and then I'm going to bring it out again down here. From here. Nice curves. I'm going to bring that out and then we're going to create another kind of whippy flame around here. So again, start with a U. This one's going to be a little bit smaller. Turn your finger that bit a little bit for me, babe. Thank you. As I was saying, there's no um, no right or wrong way to do this. Just as long as it looks wispy. It's all good. I also need to remember to breathe while I'm doing this. It's kind of crucial. Oxygen mm -hmm. is crucial. And then we fill all of this in. Feel free to use a bigger brush. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like to pull on the existing product as well so that it doesn't end up lumpy. I'm just using my skinny brush just to fill in. Fill in the smaller sections. So um, Sam was trying to suggest that I did firework nails. I've been trying to suggest it for three years. Yeah, I just don't like doing it. I, I, I have honestly never seen a good firework nail. I'm just not a fan. Um, if anybody thinks they've got a decent firework nail that they would like to show me, please send it. I'm happy to recreate. Um, I think I've got some floof in there. I'm just... I'm just not a fan. I think they always just kind of look like something went wrong. <laughs> yeah, so we compromised and went for flame. Yes, yeah, so we've gone for bonfire. Bloody floof, man. Okay, uh, pop that in the lamp for me, please, Sam. Uh, what I'm going to do as well, to add a little bit of a glow to this, I've got some top coat on my palette already. And I'm going to use a little bit of the Dove from Prophecy. Just a small amount. And I'm going to mix that with top coat. And then around the edge of this. I'm not going to go all the way around. I'm not going to trace all of it. I'm just going to do some sections with a very subtle edge. Is that the word I'm looking for? Glowy bit, an extra, mm -hmm. extra little something, something. Just going to add a bit of a glow to it. So it's a nice milky colour, and I think as well what I'm going to do. Do 
need a few extra bits like that. Right, put that in the lamp for me, please, Sam. Right, this is where we get messy. It's very messy. So, do I do the yellow first, the orange first, the red first? What should we do, Sam? Red into orange into yellow. I think. Well, that's obviously how it's going to go, but I'm thinking I might... Yeah, I'm going to go in with the red first. So don't you always start with your darkest colour? I generally tend to start with my lightest colours, but I want these to blend. Oh, to be fair, it doesn't really matter which way you do it. But key is you need the smallest amount of pigment. Oh my God, you need such such a small amount. Right, so I'm coming in with... Oh my God, sort my lights out. With this red, it's, it's not really red. It's like a, a very dark coral orange... It's intense. It's stunning. It's very flamey. So I'm going to pop that on and then wipe off any excess. And then we're just going to spread that all about a little bit. Uh, orange, 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 orange. Again, such a very small amount. And we'll take that up to the next bit. And if you just keep kind of pressing, they tend to to blend into one another. Nice and lovely. And then with the yellow. So with the yellow, I'm going to keep that little bit of orange that I've got on my brush. I'm going to come in with the yellow and apply that to the rest of the visible flame. And that yellow will just, uh, the whatever was left of the orange on your brush it just helps it blend a little bit better okay let's start dusting that off with your duster brush flame boy what's that off it's friends isn't it is it flame boy what have i got on this nail i've got something on there gonna have to do a little bit of a clean up but you can see how that's um it just sticks, it just takes, and the um, <sighs> the inhibition layer just really sticks to those pigments. It's perfect, right? So, I'm going to use just an old 3D brush and some slip solution, and I'm just going to come in and have a little bit of a clean up. This might take me a minute, so I'm just going to pause. Okay, so I've had a, I've had a good clean up. Uh, where's my velvet top coat? Here it is. So I'm going to. We're going to matte top coat the whole nail. So I'm always a little bit cautious when I'm top coating over pigments that we don't drag and pull them. So just kind of float it over. Don't press down too hard. But equally, make sure you've got good coverage. Okay, pop that in for me, please, Sam. Now, I mean, as you can see, the that yellow pigment has just gone into those cuticles. Um, so we're going to have to give this nail a really, really good scrub to get all of that out. So I'm going to... Obviously, we've just matte top coated the nail, and then I'm going to go over the um, flames in gloss to really make them pop. Uh, I mean, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I love a good contrast between gloss and matte top coats. It just, it's just a winning combination. Okay, pop that out. So, we now have a matte nail with pigment everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to get my palette back out. I'm going to get my regular... Do you know what this nail is doing to me? It's giving me Harley Davidson vibes. What about you? Feeling that? I'm feeling it. I quite like it matte, actually. But they want the glowing flame. So, very carefully. Just going to trace over these. And quick flash curls in between, please, Sam. Just a few seconds just to stop it moving. That'll do. If it 
desperately try not to get any of this on on the black because that'll be really obvious. good thing about this is you can pick up quite a good drop of the top coat because you're working on a, a matte surface it's not going to move about it's not going to slip Just rotate a little bit for me please Sam Okay, pop that in the lamp. Nice full cure. And again, I'm going to come in and just give this another wipe over with an L plate cleanser. Bloody pigments. And which cute claw would you like them? Wherever you want to put your hand on. Let's go for melon. So here, I'll take your firework nail and I'll give you bonfire. Bonfire's good. What does that sound? Sounds like a plan to me. And there you have it. I am covered in pigments. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to give us a little thumbs up, hit like on that video, drop any comments that you've got down in the comment section below. And more importantly, make sure you hit subscribe so that you get a notification for all of our future videos. All of the products that I've used today you can find on our website, which is nelkme.co.uk. And I will see you in the next video.